This final video of the rigging um, tools that we're looking at is, I mean, these are just the um, inbuilt Maya tools that we're looking at. So let's go um, win, uh, content browser. Let's have a little look. Right click, import mesh. So this is just sort of base stuff that is inbuilt into Maya. So it's a really useful way for us to explore what is uh, available right from the get go with Maya. So I'm going to go to skeleton human IK. So this is slightly different to uh, the quick rig. So what we're going to do is create a skeleton. And what you can see is it has, uh, let's go shade and x-ray joints so we can see the joints behind it. I'm just going to grab the skeleton and position this just so, position this to the top of the head. So this is, you can see here, character one neck. It's named really uh, handily for us. Let's just pull this up. This is um, the clavicle as opposed to the shoulder. Just position this kind of here and then oh, there we go. Let's just grab this move this around the ideal would be i don't particularly like to rotate the joints around so much um purely for orientation but okay let's see what we get um you might find that this breaks potentially um let's just change this to from world to object um, so you can see here i'm just going to position this just so I'm just going to rotate this around like that and we're just going to kind of match up this as uh, best we can just in terms of position you can see one difference straight away in all of the other inbuilt rigging tools within Maya it didn't give you the option of fingers so that's one drawback straight away um, so you know, obviously in this rig you can actually remove the fingers so it's always nice to have the option whereas you guys have been looking at the rigging tools and you've been adding your own um, your own characters into there so I'm just gonna rotate this around this should actually be a lot shorter so grab this D pull this down um, just pull this down to the joint, pull this down, pull it up. Yeah, so there, there we go. Just so that it's sort of filling. So we're just positioning these joints roughly, and I'm just going to rotate them. There's a bit of a rule. Generally, I wouldn't rotate joints when I come to rigging. You really just want to be placing them, but this uh, Maya tool, I think it works a little differently. So let's just um, position these up. So all I'm doing here is just placing the joints, rotating, placing them, and rotating them. And hit D to change the pivot point, and I'm just going to position this around just like this. And then grab this joint, hit D, move the pivot point, rotate it ever so slightly, and again, just rinse and repeat. So you can kind of see what we're getting with this. We're, we're just rotating this joint placement, selecting the joint, rotating, um, grab this joint here, rotate it. So it's fitting within that finger. You can see there how it should roughly be sitting inside of that finger. Um, so I'm just going to do the same again with this final finger. Pull this up a touch and select this joint. Let's just rotate this around a little, rotate. Um, see what we'll get, rotate, oh, rotate, rotate, uh, select this and then we'll just tweak it. small small values that we're just uh, gradually gradually tweaking so this is like another option right so let's just adjust this hip here so maybe it's going to be about here grab this leg pull this here pretty good let's just grab this and then grab the toe and just pull this out roughly and I think that's okay that should give us near enough what we want I'm just going to change the root position of this a little bit lower select the leg and what I'm going to do is this little option here it's going to make it symmetrical there you go it should all be nice and symmetrical okay so now um, let's see source and select the skeleton, select the mesh, and then go to skin. You still have to bind your character this way. G 
geodesic voxel and change this to dual quaternion i'm going to drop this down to sub uh, max influence of four bind skin and then it should be nice and bound then go to source control rig gives us our control rig this is what's really important this definition i'm not too fussed about these little uh, orange um little icons here basically what that's in is the arms aren't parallel it's just an issue um well it's not really an issue it's just something that uh, it's trying to warn us um that it might cause issues so basically this is now ready to allow us to plug our animation uh, our character into a motion capture setup so what i'm going to do is in the next video i'm going to look at um defining a character definition which is basically what we've just done with this character rig we've created a character definition and this is the definition here the character is one it's currently linked to the stance we could change that from control rig to stance so basically put it back to just the skeleton so we can now make changes to that or none it wouldn't have any kind of controls associated to it um but we're going to change the source and what we will be doing is plugging a new character definition into this source which will be driving this um this character rig which is effect we're effectively going to be plugging motion capture into it so we've basically created a very flexible rig so this now we can then hand animate it much like the automated tools with Amaya. um you know really really useful um okay we're getting some pretty cool stuff with it with uh, term in terms of rigging um but yeah the next step is to plug this into some motion capture so what i'm going to do is in the next video i'm going to show you how you would define a motion capture file and then we're going to create a definition from that motion capture file and plug it into this file so i'm just going to um save that as um, i'm just going to save that as test that's fine test um mocap Okay, good. Right, I'll see you in the next video.